A developing story tonight live at 10. The drawbridges in the Port of Green Bay are one step closer to becoming operated by remote control, with technology replacing a couple of bridge tenders. NBC 26's Eric Kress was there for the approval of the funding this evening in Green Bay. Tonight, the Brown County Planning Commission approved of the funding of nearly $850,000 from the federal government. Now, two thirds of that money would be used to repair bridges here in Green Bay, but the other third of it, that's more controversial. Thousands of cars go over one of three draw bridges in Green Bay every day. I primarily take it coming to work, going to visit family. And for some, the idea of two of these three stations eventually being manned. Whenever the bridges go up, I'm like, oh, who's sitting in that box? By a remote operation is unsettling. I would think it's better if you have, continue to have people stationed at each bridge. Closer eye, you know, for monitoring. Wednesday evening, the funding for the construction was approved, though. County leaders stating they could test the success of such an undertaking after completing the project and getting the Coast Guard's nod of approval, which they haven't received just yet. The port's position is, uh, you know, until the Coast Guard deems it uh, safe and reliable, um, we, it, it's up to the Coast Guard, and we support whatever the Coast Guard determines. The Coast Guard says that an unmanned drawbridge doesn't exist in a commercial port in the United States and that they are open to the idea of installing the equipment and testing it down the road. Until you work out all the kinks and everything in your system. The Coast Guard would ultimately have to approve of the removal of two of those drawbridge operators and that won't be done until much more testing is complete and they know it's safe. Reporting in Green Bay, Eric Crest, NBC 26. Uh, according to the director of the Port of Green Bay, it could be years until the drawbridges are operating by remote access, and that's even if the Coast Guard gives them the green light.